Hi everybody, it's Joe Krug from ThinSuite. In this video, we learn how to customize Webflow rich text with Sweet Text. In this video, we learn how to create classes, apply styles to classes, and make sure those classes are saved to our Webflow build. This is a very beginner basic concept. I'll be going over this super slow. Let's look at how Sweet Text works. It works by applying classes to text inside the rich text. So IX Explosion is a class. That class is being applied to Inside Webflow. And if I go to a published site, we'll see Inside Webflow has a color of red. And when I hover over it, it is rotating and scaling. So this class is doing that. It is responsible for that color and for that rotation. IX Explosion has to live somewhere on our Webflow build. We need to make sure that this class is safe and it's established and it we don't have to worry about it again. And if we want to edit it, we can go and edit it, even visually. So what we need to do is make sure all of the classes that we're using in Sweet Text are established in Webflow and saved somewhere safe. Don't just create the style on a div, on a text block, add it, and then delete it on the page. If you go and clear your styles inside your Webflow build, this class may be removed. It may be cleared if it is not found anywhere in the project. So we need to make sure that we are creating these classes, styling, and saving them. Please, you can use a style guide for this. If you're using a whole styling system for rich text, create a dedicated page just for these classes. This page that we're looking at right now is our dedicated page for the home page of this build. We have an element back here. This is created with our custom class. We have our P color blue, our P underscore, P hover, P S through, draggable, I X avoid, and IX explosion. You can see we even have these interactions applied to them on class, and that's going to allow us to apply that interaction anywhere that class is found, including inside the rich text. Excellent. So all of this that we did right here is inside a text block, and it is created with spans. That's exactly how we're working inside sweet text behind the scenes. So that's how we're going to make this work right here. We're going to walk through doing this right now. Let's go up here and add a text block to the page. This text block, I'm going to write some information here. Uh, let's say I love Webflow. Very fitting, okay. So I am going to now highlight Webflow. I am going to apply span, wrap with span. That's what sweet text is. We are wrapping Webflow with spans. So let's go and click on this. We've created a text span. And now let's go add a class to that text span. Let's go and call it Webflow rocks. Spelt correctly is nice. Okay, Webflow Rocks. Webflow Rocks is going to get a color of purple pink. Great. Now, Webflow Rocks is now a class inside of our build. It exists. If we were to go clear our styles, it's still going to be here. Great. So, Webflow Rocks is now something we can work with. Let's go up to our rich text and let's go and add Webflow Rocks over here to Webflow. So let's go Webflow Rocks and we will wrap, not wrap, we will Webflow Rocks and bam, there we go. So Webflow Rocks, originally Webflow is absolutely no style. It is just default to what this rich text element is. We're going to go and publish, and we're going to see that Webflow now goes to this purple pink. 
And there we go. With this reload, we will see this class has been applied. Nice. There we go. So we just went ahead. We created a new class. We gave a style to that class. And then we applied that class inside Sweet Text. This class is now sitting inside of our style guide. We're keeping this page live. We are not deleting it. And it is going to make sure this class is safe. That is how you go and create classes and then apply these classes to Sweet Text. That's effing sweet.